Welcome back to Newsroom. Now for a look at what's happening in sport. We start off with some boxing news. I feel bad was the response of Guyanese bantamweight boxer Kevin Alicock after a shocking loss to Uruguay's Lucas Fernandez at the Pan American Games in Peru on Monday evening. Based on numerous reports, Alicock dominated the three rounds from start to finish. After the fight, there was overwhelming applause for the Guyanese prior to the announcement of the result. Let's hear from the boxer. Well, I feel bad, you know, but you can't change it because the judges' division, um, the decision is final. But into my heart and the crowd proved it that, you know, I want to fight Curry. You know, every round he was getting hurt, he was getting hurt I was pressuring him, you know, and I put, my, I put my best foot forward. So the feelings is bad because I know that, you know, I train hard for this, you know, to bring a goal home to my country. And I didn't get the chance to do it because of that. Going forward, what do you think you have to do? Oh, well, you know, well, the campaign that we get in Cuba was good, but, you know, it was a short time, you know, it was three weeks and, you know, I, actually, I should have been gone there for a very long time. I wish uh, that we could get a more longer um, stay in, in, in Cuba. You know, I think more training in Cuba, fighting with some good guys and doing a lot of more sparring, then it's going to make me better. Two judges had Ali Kok outboxing his opponent 30-27 and 29-28, while three judges gave the nod to Fernandez 30-27, 29-28 and 29-28. Some cricket news now. It has been confirmed that the Guyana Amazon Warriors home matches for the 2019 Hero Caribbean Premier League will be taking place in Guyana this season. The matches will take place in two blocks with three games at the beginning of September and two matches at the start of October. More in this report. There was a cloud of uncertainty over the Guyana Games given that the CPL schedule was announced without matches earmarked for the country. The suspense continued at the weekend when the local CPL office announced that Monday, July 29 would mark the start of local ticket sales, only to make a later announcement that those plans have been postponed. As has been the norm over the years, backroom discussions took place and on Tuesday morning, CPL issued a statement confirming that the Warriors' five home games would be played at the National Stadium Providence. The Amazon Warriors will get their campaign on the way when they face St. Lucia Stars on September 5 before taking on St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots two days later. The Ghana franchise will then face the Barbados Tridents in the third match of their home leg on September 8. The team will then travel around the region for five away matches before returning to Guyana to face Jamaica Talawas on October 3. The final group game for the Amazon Warriors will be a repeat of last year's final with the home team taking on the current champions, Trinbago Knight Riders, on October 4. Following the announcement, Pete Russell, the Chief Operations Officer of the Hero CPL, said, and I quote, Visiting Ghana is such a big part of Hero CPL and something we look forward to every year. The fans there are truly amazing and the passion they have for cricket and the support they give their team really is second to none. We are very pleased to be able to confirm that Amazon Warriors fans can watch five home matches during this year's tournament. End quote. The Hero CPL 2019 would run from September 4 to October 12, featuring the Barbados Tridents, Guyana Amazon Warriors, Jamaica Talawas, St. Lucia Stars, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, and defending champions, Trinbago Knight Riders. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avanash Ramzan. And we tell you now that the International Cricket Council, the ICC, has named Michael Goff of England and Joel Wilson of the West Indies in the Emirates ICC Elite Panel of Umpires for the season 2019-2020 following the annual review and selection process. Goff and Wilson have been elevated from the Emirates ICC International Panel of Umpires by the selection panel consisting of the ICC General Manager of Cricket, Geoff Allardyce, former player and commentator Sanjay Mandreka, and match referees Ranjan Madugali and David Boone. Both these umpires have gained significant experience at the international level, with Goff having officiated in nine test matches, 59 ODIs and 14 T20s, and Wilson having stood in 13 test matches, 63 ODIs and 26 T20 internationals. They replaced retired umpire Ian Gould and Ravi Sundaram, who were part of the previous panel. The other members of the Emirates ICC Elite Panel of Umpires are Alim Dar, Kumar Dharmasena, Marias Erasmus, Chris Gaffney, Richard Illingworth, Richard Kettleborough, Nigel Long, Bruce Oxenford, Paul Rifle, and Rod Tucker. Boxing News Now. Courts Guyana Inc. has continued its support of the Guyana Boxing Association by being a part sponsor of the 4th Caribbean Schoolboys and Juniors Boxing Championships in August, the two signed off on the partnership at a simple briefing earlier today at Courts Main Street. The championships will be staged from August 16th to the 18th at the Clefanderson Sports Hall 
and should feature boxes from Barbados, Grenada, Cayman Islands, Dominica, St. Lucia, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, and Trinidad and Tobago. It is a significant improvement for a tournament which started with just three countries. Aiding the growth is Courts Guyana, who has supported the GBA in the past and other ventures. Brand manager Odette Aaron spoke at a gathering and noted the company's commitment towards sport. Boxing is one of the sports that we find in Guyana that is not very much covered by a lot of companies and therefore that's one of the reasons why we actually you know cover boxing. Boxing is a as a sport as well as um, a, it has health benefits in the sense that if a child or anybody is going through any kind of stress period in their lives, boxing can actually help reduce that stress level that you may be, you know, be encountering at any given time. So it's not only about it being as a sport, but it also have very much a lot of great health benefits towards a person in their development. And we are happy to always partnering with um, Guyana Amateur Boxing Association, and this partnership will be continuing in the future. GBA President Steve Ninval was most grateful for the continued support and explained that tangible help will go a long way in building development. So we want to say heartfelt thanks to courts and we do hope that they will continue to be with us because you, I think you know the sport of boxing has done human service to Guyana in the sports department. Um, we are the only sport that would have won an Olympic medal. Uh, just recently we would have had our youth Commonwealth silver medalist and uh, I guess from last night we should have been winning a uh, Pan Am uh, bronze medal. Um, it is what it is, but again, we want to say thank you very much to Courts and we hope that you stay with us um, throughout. Abiola Jackman, Ryan Benjamin, Patrick Harvey, Malachi Jones, Gerald McKenzie, Dwayne Baptiste, Emmanuel Pompey, Alex Butcher, Cheryl Stephen, Mark Crawford, Richard Howard, Jaquan Milo, Wayne Castillo, Travis Injury, Kishana Fraser, and Fitz Hayward are some of the boxers in camp and the final squad will be announced soon. They are being coached by Seward Blake, Lennox Daniels and Clive Atwell. The Guyana team, well, it's not done as yet. They, actually, we are going through encampment and at the end of the encampment, we'll be selecting that team. As it is right now, we have over 22 boxers being encamped. It was a weekly encampment, but as of the 2nd of August, the, camp, the encampment will be continuous as of from the 2nd of August straight through to the competition time, which is the 16th of August. Um, we, of course, this is the first time that we would have had this sort of encampment. The reason being is that we expect that there will be a step up in the level of competition we'll be having from the Caribbean. Um, as I said before, Venezuela is asked to be a part of that. And um, just as recent as yesterday, we have sent off something to Brazil asking that at, at least they send one, one fighter. So we expect that it will be a higher level of competition than it was before. And with that in mind, we, say we, we, we took it on to ourselves to make sure that our boxers and the persons who will participate, um, they have a step up in the level of um, preparation also. E-Networks and Mass Distribution are other sponsors thus far. Additionally, the championships is shall to commence at 18 hours each evening and ringside tickets cost $1,500 and stands $500 and the season tickets are $4,000. For the newsroom, Akim Green. And Guyana Beverages Inc. on Tuesday morning formalized a partnership with R3 Guyana in the interest of fueling the growth and development of the sport here. In a simple but significant ceremony at the National Gymnasium, key officials of the two bodies spoke on the importance of such an alliance. Archer Ghana, we're very pleased to enter into a very important collaboration this morning here with uh, Guyana Beverages Inc. As you know, um, for archery and for any sport overall, hydration is very important. And in this regard, we're pleased to collaborate with Guyana Beverages Inc. And uh, Mr. Raymond, this morning, we're going to be entering into an MOU whereby Guyana Beverages Inc. will be sponsoring the water products and beverage products for our true Guyana. In particular, we're going to start from this Sunday. I'm going to let the head coach tell you a bit about a very exciting indoor competition we have lined up. This is our first competition for the year, and it's an indoor competition. It will be held right here. And this um, MOU that we're entering now will benefit us since at any competition we need hydration. So. Um, I just want to, for myself and for the rest of Archers, thank Guyana Beverages Inc. 
Um, the competition will be on Sunday from 9 a.m. Right here, I think we should be finished by two. It's a two-day competition, so the finals will be held the subsequent um, weekend, well, the subsequent Sunday on the 11th. This is one of the sports that we really wanted to support and get involved over the years, and we're happy to finally make this collaboration possible. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. At Guyana Beverages, we strive to develop our human capital. And one of the areas that we focus on is sports development. And over the years, we have been investing and putting a lot into sports, football and cricket in particular. And this year, we will be expanding our arms a little bit so that we can cover much sports, athletics, and so forth. So this is the beginning of many partnerships to come over the next few months. And I want to thank the Archery Association for making Oasis Water the official water of the Archery Guyana Inc. Right, so thank you very much and support brands that support sports. And with that, we've come to the end of the news for this evening. Of course, you can find updates on these and other stories on our website, newsroom.gy, or our Facebook page, Newsroom Guyana. On behalf of the entire team here, I'm Avanash Ramsan. Thanks for watching. See you back here tomorrow.